With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, the question states that which of the following structures are haploid in gymnosperm? These are the options given. Pollen grain, megaspore, embryo, pollen grain, megaspore, endosperm, megaspore, leaf root, leaf root, integument. Now let's proceed to the solution. In gymnosperm, the pollen grains and the megaspores are haploid. These are haploid. And they develop as a result of meiosis. They develop as a result of meiosis. And it is respective to the mother cells. It is respective to their mother cells cells and we are talking about the conditions here about gymnosperm. The functional megaspore forms a embryo sac. Embryo sac is made by functional megaspore. Functional megaspore. And the endosperm is formed prior to fertilization. Hence, it is haploid. The embryo, the endosperm is formed prior to fertilization. Hence, it is haploid in nature. So, now let's proceed to all the options given. Option number 1 says pollen grain, megaspore embryo. No, this is not the correct option. Option number 2 says pollen grain. Megaspore, endosperm, yes, this is the correct option. Option number 3 says megaspore leaf root, this is incorrect. Option number 4 says leaf root, integument, this is also in, incorrect. So, our correct answer is pollen grain, megaspore and endosperm. The following structures are haploid in gymnosperms are pollen grain, megaspore and endosperm. So, our correct option is option number 2. This is our correct option. Thank you. Thank you for watching Doubt Nut. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.